Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day in Doctor Who December. I hope you're all doing really, really well. It is edging ever closer to Christmas. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this whole year has flown by, but December has... <sighs> I feel like I've blinked and we're on the 20th. It's just crazy. Um, but I hope you're all doing really well. I know we are still in this covid world with more talks of a lockdown and yeah it just sucks it does suck but we just have to i mean the chances that i'm going to spend my 30th in a lockdown are probably looking quite likely now um, and i was speaking to like josh over on instagram and yeah he'll be turning 18 and it's just poo so if you need to talk please reach out to people and talk because it it like I would say that I'm through this whole COVID thing, I've been very like mentally okay. It's not really affecting me, but this is the first time that I've thought, really, we're gonna do another lockdown? Really? Okay. Because I we trust the government. Um, but I just hope you're staying safe and you know, just being sensible. Um on to brighter news. I went to see Spider-Man No Way Home yesterday. Of course I won't say any spoilers because I'm not that person. But I am still non-stop thinking about it. I just can't stop thinking about it. It's by far the best Marvel film I've ever seen. Um, and it is just mind-boggling. Anyway, we're not here to talk about that. I wanted to include the third Doctor in Doctor Who December. And I'd had some suggestions from people for other bits. And, and um, I just... This just felt like something I'd wanted to do for a while. I was going to react to my reaction of his regeneration, but I just can't put myself through it. I, like, I just can't. <laughs> so I thought it'd be really cool to re-react. Well, I'm reacting to my reaction of Spearhead from Space. So this went out on the 7th of January, 2020. I probably filmed it just before my birthday, maybe. I mean, so it's nearly two years ago, which is crazy. And I just, I don't, f I remember feeling very like attached still to the second Doctor. But I also know that I liked the third Doctor very quickly. So it would just be really cool to relive it. Really cool to relive a bit of Spearhead from Space. Just to see the third Doctor. I miss him so much. Um, I love the third Doctor. You guys know the drill. I just bloody love him. Um, but yeah, if you're new here, my name is Marie Claire. Thanks for joining me. I would love it if you would like to subscribe. Please, please. And um, let's go. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my first. You can also tell reaction. I used to film this on a, a laptop from Classic Who because of the B quality. From a brand new series, series season seven, and. C from the third doctor. Hello. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Mary Claire. Feel free to come along. And to all of you newbies here who have discovered my channel through um Spyfall. Oh I don't I haven't really spoken about the war games um because <laughs> I was a little bit emotional. So the war games. It's been two weeks for me since I've watched the final part. I think I finished it on the 22nd of December. Um, I, I'm still not like, I, I, I'm still not 100%. I'm not, I'm not going into this like, oh yeah, I'm so excited for the third Doctor. But I'm also not going into it thinking. Little did oh, I know. The third Doctor's going to be rubbish. I'm excited, but I am still very much, um, like traumatized by what happened and i do think that it's going to hit me when i watch this because we are getting bear in mind at the end of the war games we didn't even see who the next doctor was so we're gonna have to get new companions um i do know that this episode is in color that's something i have known for a while so that's i'm not sure how i feel about that i'm not classic who to me is black and white this girl that's did changed. not like, know what like was about to hit her with the third doctor. Like, oh my um, god. And I'm 
scared, but I'm excited. Don't be scared. I do think I might get emotional, genuinely. So I apologise if I do, but I just... The uh, second Doctor meant a lot to me. So, a couple of things. Firstly, spoilers. Just bear in mind, I don't know anything. And please just not spoil anything. For those of you that, um, like, comment when there's a spoiler below, thank you. If you could continue doing that. You guys have well, definitely I mean, got better with spoilers. Be the person or just commenting on their comment and just saying, look, it's a spoiler, would you mind removing it? But if you could comment above their comment, just like spoiler below and let me know their username because then I can just dodge the comment. So that's fine. Um, second thing, I will be doing a QA and a in a cool. couple of weeks, I think, just because there's a, there's a new lot of you and I just like doing Q&As. I think they're really important to keep a relationship between like me and you and for you to ask me anything you've ever wondered. So this is not a Doctor Who based Q&A. It is a general Q&A. You can ask me anything. I'm a pretty open book. Feel free to test me on that. But yes, yeah, so I will be doing a Q&A in a couple of weeks. So, um, DM me your questions, leave them below uh, and I will work through them. Right. Come on. I'm going to brace myself. Right. Um, this episode is called... I don't know. It's, it's the Spearhead from Space? Spearhead from Space? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bit, like, anxious because I've got the screen paused and obviously I forgot that there's going to be, like, different opening titles as well. You got this, oh, girl. Gosh, I'm not ready. Okay. <laughs> Where's my man? There's my man. Look at my face. I'm so unimpressed. I'm like, who is this man taking over from the second doctor? <clears throat> Not my favourite opening title, but it's only the first time I've seen it. That is a great shot. I am harsh. I love a shot. I remember face. loving the shot. Where's my man? Oh, but I actually think we might cry. Oh. Hello. New doctor. New shape. New companion. Oh. <laughs> I'm honestly emotional. <laughs> God, my audio is awful. I love, I love this. I love seeing the 70s. I love seeing the 60s. But I love, I assume this would have been filmed. Actually, I don't know when. But it's just really cool seeing the world when it was the 60s and 70s. It's, it's just like a completely different world. I still agree with me. Like imagine if there was like a telephone <clears throat> box like that in a bloody hospital. I've never seen them before in my life. Hello. 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 Hello.
actually sounds like Patrick Troughton. He does a bit there. So young, you're there, the brig. I remember the shock of seeing this for the first time. <clears throat> new doctor we don't know who the companions are um i was so happy to see lethbridge stewart because it was just like okay it's doctor who because i think before that it felt really the whole vibe is so different like so different um especially with it being in color it's, it's a massive massive uh just like switch for me I never thought I would say this, but I really miss the black and white. I, I do. Yeah, it I really struggled more, with the transition from black and white I to colour. I almost quite like the lower budget, the studio. Look what classic who's done to me. Um, we got to see a bit of the Doctor and actually he was really funny. He sounds exactly like Patrick Troughton. Um, I was not expecting to see him wheel off in a wheelchair. Um... So, so far, my impressions of him are really good, actually. So, that's a good thing. I, I'm looking forward to when we've kind of got the companion and we've kind of got a bit of a flow. Um, that lady, Liz, Liz Shaw, potential new companion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not... I'm, I, I feel like sometimes you get, like, an instant, oh, yeah, they're really great, or... I didn't feel anything from her, but she potentially could be a new companion. Interesting. I mean, we could have a... It could be one companion. It could be... A, it could be a male companion. I mean, I don't... I literally don't know. Um, no idea what was going on. I was not expecting those two men to come in and, like, whack that doctor around the head. Whack like, that doctor. It reminded me of, like, the mannequins. Spearhead from space i assume they're going to be like monsters with like a spear shaped head i don't know but yeah i'm 
it's I'm I'm okay. I did have moments where I was watching it thinking, oh my god, I miss I miss the old lot so much. But actually, I think if I was also thinking when watching that, if you were to put Jamie and Zoe into that, I don't think it would have worked. It just I don't know the the, the last episode of the War Games compared to that. I just feel like World it's apart. almost like there's a ten year gap for me. It just feels completely different. But I'm glad I've just watched that first episode because I think that's the hardest bit. Not overly enthralled by the opening titles, but their opening titles. So yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and watch the second part now. I really enjoyed watching that. Whether you did or not, I don't know. But just knowing how much I love the third Doctor now, little old me then had no idea. Like, I'm jealous of me then getting to watch it for the first time, you know? Um, <clears throat> I... Like, my critique of the opening titles, like, I just... I was still defending the second Doctor as much as I was like really open about the third Doctor my heart was still with the second but I I did fall for the third Doctor very very quickly and um interesting what I said about Liz because I've, I didn't I didn't have a massive like connection with Liz as a companion um to be fair I actually sometimes forget about her I did a Q&A the other day and I completely forgot about Liz. But I think that's because we didn't travel, like, space-wise. Like, travel in time and stuff. So, interesting that I picked up on it there already. Um, it made me emotional because, like, seeing the brig and just what an unbelievable era. And I stand by the fact that the Third Doctor era is my favourite, like... That won't change that will never change i i mean i would be very shocked if that were to change i mean i'm open to it the fifth doctor might absolutely woo me but the third doctor era is just where my heart is like it's just even and, and actually also seeing that episode compared to where i am now in doctor who just seeing the difference because obviously when you watch it episode by episode you're not massively seeing the difference in decades when you see it from there to there that was what 10 years difference essentially um it's just crazy crazy john pertwee i love you john <laughs> oh i really enjoyed doing that um i hope you did too thank you so much for joining me and i will see you tomorrow for another day in doctor who december bye